Well, hello, YouTube. Captain Dave. In the wolf den. One more time. What we're going to do is show you a little bit of the Jetty Wolf's lure box. You might remember these, these DeWalt boxes. I really like them. I got them at Home Depot, of course. The Depot. I'm gonna say this and there could be arguments against it. This is one man's opinion, okay? Because maybe the style I fish, the area I fish, but beyond just a jig head with a bait on it or a jig head with a soft plastic, I'm going to show you what I believe are some of the most versatile lures to catch pretty much everything, especially this time of year. Okay, right now it's May 11th, and in Northeast Florida, things are popping here, popping there. You got ladyfish that have showed up. They actually were last on my list of catches. The first was Jack Cravals. Then came the Spanish Macaralis. And uh, let's see, there was some blues mixed in. Bluefish, the Green Scourge. You know, saltwater piranha. I'm still catching, as of yesterday, I'm still catching yellowmouth trout, also known as weak fish. Then there's uh, speckled trout, of course, you can catch, flounder, all those inshore species. So let's break into it and let me show you some because I got a bunch of them. We're going to go start at the lightest, okay? So, let's bust open the case. So, the first thing, as far as the most versatile lure in Northeast Florida, I believe, to me, most versatile lure is, and I guess I got to really move all this because, my God, do I got some gobstoppers to show you here. Okay, so I'm going to move all this so I can put put them right here. Well, maybe I'll just get the box out of the way. How about that? This is a fly bumping into the camera by the seat of my pants video for the sheer fact that I was just talking to Orwalk, the number one contributor to Captain Dave's sport fishing YouTube channel about this exact topic. I've got a bunch I think I showed before. There's a bunch. Okay. But these right now are completely sold out in this area. That is the Tsunami what do they call that thing again? Uh Zip Jig Pro. It's a gotcha knockoff. Okay? It's a gotcha knockoff. But that lure right there is so versatile. And it weighs 5 eighths of an ounce. Single hook here. Got this little synthetic bucktail. That stuff will just get ripped off. These hooks, they'll just break. But... When it's all said and done, that hook will remain and you can still catch fish on it. You want to take and just do some casting, some trolling, some vertical jigging type. That's what I use these for. These things are so good. They sell them at Wally's World. And I've been to three Wally's Worlds and every single one of these is the space where they belong is nothing. There's not one left. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of these with the tails. But to me, 
and I mean, I don't even really care about much of this bucktail stuff because look, it all gets all tangled. You got these, five eighths of an ounce. Then you got ones that are a little heavier. Okay, I gotta untangle it from all these feather thingies here. Now look at that one there, it's a little bit bigger. A right, little bit bigger. I don't think this is seven eighths of an ounce. I can't really remember, but I just ended up cutting the treble off and I put on my own single swinging hook here. And that is so easily done with, let me see if I can find the tool. I've made mention of this before. One of the greatest tools you could ever have at your disposal is the braid fisherman's pliers because what is these not only is it a giant split ring opener but down here you have a hook eye opener with these pins you adjust it it's got holes here and that's exactly what I did I took these hooks I spread the eye with my with this right here I spread the eye I slid it on there and then it's got these spaces right here and that is to literally close the eye you stick it in there like this put it in there and you squeeze it and it closes the eye you got a little bit bigger ones let me find, here's another one. These are for, sh you know, shallower water, uh, less current. All right. And then you got this one. And I read a review. I mean, good God, some of these absolute morons on Amazon are writing reviews that are so stupid. Oh, I cast this thing three times and the paint was coming off the head. Well, that's kind of what it does there, partner. You can see it's missing paint because I used it. Now, that's the same thing as this one. This is a gotcha brand, a true gotcha. This is the knockoff from Tsunami. But I'll tell you, let me tell you a little story about something. Years and years and years ago, up in Nassau Sound, which is north of the St. John's River for where I fish, me and a buddy of mine sat at a bridge. If you're local, you'll know what bridge I'm talking about. And we sat up there, and you could pitch these back to the bridge pilings, hold them in the current, and just twitch your rod tip. And we were limiting out on speckled sea trout two to four pounds every single one so you do not need all this fancy horse shit and these ten dollar lures fifteen dollar lures to just sit there in smoking current and catch fish you see i'm an at anchor fisherman so here's that's the that's those and see i did it to another one over here i should untangle all these I did it to another one. Have all different kinds of weights accessible in your quiver, in your arsenal. Have all different kinds of weights of these. I did this in a video not long ago. I'd say it was in the winter, maybe December, January, I did a video about this. Now, I'm even going to upgrade my system. You get yourself some Procure Insure Saltwater Super Gel. I mean, this stuff is the grease. Greasy. You almost need, if you get this on your hands, you almost need to carry some god dang degreaser with you. Okay? This stuff is the cat's ass, let me tell you. You take this. Now, I put it in this, what used to be sort of, I don't know, I don't know why, what kind of syringe this is, but you 
pull the plunger out and you squeeze a whole bunch of that into a syringe type situation here. And they even sell, they, Procure even sells a syringe to do this exact same thing. Now I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to uh, Wally's World tomorrow and for about, I don't know, I don't know, five, six bucks or whatever, this thing, I don't even know where it came from, but it doesn't really have a cap. I'm going to get me some of them turkey basting needle types, and I'm going to use that. But you take this, and you take this hair, and you push it to the side, and you stick this right down in there like that, and you inject this entire body full of Procure, and it will give you an added scent you got the flash you got the movement you got the vibration and you got the smell all the things that you need to really get them going all right you want sight sound smell that's the three things that you want to satisfy hey it does it for me the sight of a big juicy cheeseburger the smell of a big juicy cheeseburger make this into a juicy cheeseburger all right so let me get all these out of the way and then we'll go on to the next all right i even showed you how i have a whole collection of old seahawks that these lures where those lures came from see now all that dang fuzz is everywhere then i've got a few not many I got a few of these. These are very quality made. Unlike the gotchas and stuff like that, they do have a wire here. It's a plastic tube, but they bent this brass down here and then peen the ends and that hook hanger is like really there. Now I've changed the hooks out on here multiple times. So I just take a, a little perma steel VMC type uh, treble hook and I just nip it and then I put it on there and open it up and put it on there so there's another type right there then I got all these okay so then this is another version look at that tail's all falling off I really don't care about this stuff I really don't care. It's actually kind of a pain in the butt, but it does give it some extra flair. Okay, let me unwind all that crap. Let me get that out of the way. But then here's another uh, tsunami. It's just a bigger version of the 5 8 the first ones that I showed you. Single hook, wired through, lead. You can actually see the lead goes up in there and then you got your sliding treble okay so that's the next step up so then I go to Bass Pro Shops in Gainesville and I picked up some of I picked up some of theirs okay Bass Pro Shops oh my Here's what the bad deal is about treble hooks. Bass Pro Shops is the great knockoff artist. So here's a gotcha. That's a swinging hook, two ounce gotcha plug for deep jigging and deep dancing. Okay. Uh, let me, I probably didn't mention how these, these dart, they dart like this. Kind of when you pop your rod tip, pop, 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 pop. You want to stay, stay moving it, stay moving it, All right? And you can fire this down to the bottom. And if you're sitting in big current, you can just twitch, 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 twitch. That's how we were catching the trout with the little tiny 5 eighths ones. So here's a true gotcha, and then here's the Bass Pro Shops, 
It's a little bit lighter, but it's solid. You can't fill this up. This is solid plastic, okay? And then it's got this through. And these are very inexpensive. I mean, that got you right here. That could be six bucks. That right there, $4.50, all right? So that's another version. You got plenty of knockoffs. This is a lure that's been knocked off since the day it was probably invented. All right, so these I love for deep water. I was sitting on a spot one time in the St. John's River over some little bit of structure, not much, but just a little bit of, you know, shell and stuff like that. And I was firing this down to the bottom and just twitching it, not in heavy current. And I didn't even know that I had 10 pound Jack Cravals swimming underneath my boat. And I'm telling you, they wore me slap out. I had a ball catching those dudes. And, you know, I like these, these type of lures because they catch me bait. These little 5 8 ounce jobs, these right here, that are completely tangled up in my tackle box that would take me 20 minutes to get them undone, catch me bait. They are the wonderful ladyfish catchers, bluefish catchers, and, of course, Jack Creval catchers. And what do I do with Jack Cravals? Well, I can feed them to sharks. What do I do with ladyfish? I'll chunk them and feed them to a redfish. You're not only having fun catching fish, but you're catching bait too. So that's the heavy ones. And then we go into something a little more probably familiar to most people is that is a mirror lure, 60 I believe there were, yeah, 65M. That's one of my favorite colors. Fluorescent, you know, orange head, white, silver. This is a half ounce bait. This bait does essentially the same thing as this does. It's just got a bigger profile. Okay, the same fish that's going to eat this will eat one of these just the same just the same so I keep some of these on hand these sink a little bit you know more like this and these are gonna just dive to the bottom All right. so I keep some of these readily available I've got several and they're very hard to find unless you go straight to Miralore Mirrorlord.com. Okay. And let me get, I got something else here to show you, but I got an absolute tangled mess. God, that's the worst thing about these god dang treble hooks. I mean, you can't, you, you can't do even make them breathe next to each other. So you can see I got all different kinds here. I find these just kind of around, let's put it that way, all right? So I keep these because I'm fishing current. I'm fishing deeper water than most people. I'm not up in no little creek, but when I drop, when I pitch this back to a dock in 20 foot of water, I want it to get down. So the same fish that would hit these is gonna hit these two. I mean, it's just, I've had that happen. I mean, it's no big deal. It happens. All right, so that's another one of my deeper swift water. They're only like a half an ounce. And then I go, and I'm still experimenting, and I've got these up to two ounce, but if you've ever been on Amazon looking at lures, Looking at, the, looking at the lure selection, you have probably seen the ad for the Steel Shad. These are the, I don't know, they're more than a half ounce, I believe. 
But we all know what this is. If you're a fisherman, you know what that is. That's a vibrating lure. There's the hook tie. And it travels through the water like this. And this thing creates vibration like there's no tomorrow. All right, these can be trolled. I've got silver and gold. And yes, I've got ones that are about that big and they're two ounces. That's some really, they're really big ones for deep swift water and or deeper trolling. So these do work. These, I mean, that's just same thing as a gotcha plug. How many lures have been based on a vibrating blade bait? That's what that is. Same thing as this. Everybody and their brother has wanted to knock this version of lure, want to knock this off. And I mean, all the way back to the 50s, the 40s, 1950, they made lures like this. And they were originally referred to as pier baits because people cast them off of a pier. Okay, because these cast a country mile. And same thing with a blade bait. But the steel shad is a blade bait that is just so simple. You notice there's something, uh, kind of an underlying motto to all this. Simple. Traditional. All right. So that's what I keep in my box. I'm not a major lure guy, but there's lures that I have confidence in, all right? And there's lures that are cheap enough for me to buy literally 50 of them. And I can give them the customers. And I mean, you should see some people, you tell them to cast it out and jig and they go, you know, their their whole body's doing a, a a hiccup. That's how they're jigging. Not everybody knows how to work a lure, but you can give them something simple, 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 and go put cast it out and just twitch, 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 and they'll get hit. And they'll catch a fish on a lure. You got to remember, not everybody's an expert, okay? But I love all these that have the hollow back because I like, especially those little 5 8 ounce ones, I like sticking the Procure up in them. And I have these on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. It's all the stuff that I've reviewed, and I've kind of talked about these before. Fantastic. I got two sets. I keep one here in the Wolf Den, and I keep one on the boat. And I keep, I got two of these on the boat. This one's brand new, and I got one that's just got a little bit left in it. The Procure Super Gel. So, that's just some of the lures. And I mean, I was talking to Orwalk about these right they're not the heaviest ones in the bunch but they're bigger they're lighter than these this is a true two ounce gotcha but this is about half the price of that okay overseas bass pro shops knockoff and all these lures are to emulate a small uh, glass minnow for sure you get into some of my little skinny lightweight ones like this that is emulating nothing but a little glass minnow and what do these fish love and what do these fish follow around and what do these fish like to eat it's elephants eat peanuts too folks they grab themselves a little bit of glass minnows or whatever little fry is out there 
that is twitching in the current. So that's what these are all emulating. Now this might be emulating, I mean, that's this gives off huge vibrations and flash. All right, so I was talking to him, or walk about all this, and I said, you know what? Let me do a video of my tackle or my uh, lure box so every, I could reiterate this because I don't know if anybody ever pays attention or, I mean, I just don't know what's going on out there in YouTube world, to tell you the truth. It ain't what I'm thinking is going on. That's for damn sure because nobody reads you know, video descriptions and and stuff like that. But even these, these were a knockoff and these were called like the jerk shark or something. I don't know. But even this one's hollow and you can fill it up with some Procure. But you can see this is kind of thick. It's very kind of difficult to get it in there without making a little bit of a mess. So I am going to get me one of those turkey baster needle types where I can stick it down in there and plunger it. So that's keeping it simple, stupid. It's the kind of stuff that I enjoy. I like quantity because I'm going to lose it. I'm going to tie this on somebody's reel, rod and reel, and they are going to lose it. Okay? They're also going to get destroyed. I've got one in the boat right now that all it's got is the hook in the back. The treble hook, one of them got broke off. Then another one got broke off. So I just broke the whole, I just cut the whole damn thing off and started casting it out there. It was about a week or so ago, maybe two weeks now. I don't know. I was literally just jigging this over the side of the boat and an entire school of Spanish mackerel came up and they were fighting over it. They were fighting over this thing. So there you go. I just hope just to expose you to something. Either it fits for you or it doesn't. It doesn't, you, there's nothing to be lost here. I mean, I watch what bass fishermen do. I watch bass fishing videos. Am I doing the same thing? But no, I can pick up on a little tidbit maybe. Or maybe I saw the reel they were using or something. That's what all this is all about. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.